Hi guys, it's Taylor, and welcome back to my channel. I know I said I would only film one video with this bad lighting, but you know what? We're gonna go for two, because I am way behind on videos. So today we are going to do my October wrap-up, uh, and we'll do the November TBR. I guess we're not doing that either. So I didn't actually do a TBR for October. I thought I would just freestyle it, and that went terribly. Turns out I need structure. I need to tell myself what I'm going to read that month, and if I deviate, I deviate. But I like having a rigid, I guess, sort of framework. I only read three books this whole month, so uh, let's get to this very short TBR. First book I read was The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter. Uh, this book is a sort of legal thriller, which I didn't think I'd love, but I loved because, guess what? I used to want to be a lawyer. Uh, so I, I love stuff like this. And um, there's a lot to talk about. It's like... A family whose past was rocked by, I guess, tragedy has, like, they're all lawyers and they all have to come together to, uh, I guess, help solve this one mystery and all these things come out and drama ensues, I guess. Uh, it's really good. I really, really liked it. Um, I think I gave it four to five stars because it dragged in some areas and I thought it would be a little more thrilling. Nevertheless, I really did like the legal aspect of this book. So yeah, four out of five stars. The next book I read was Vicious by V.E. Schwab. My friend gave me this copy because she hated it so much and she wanted me to hate it too. And I ended up loving it so much I bought this copy. So I'd have two copies of Vicious. And I bought the sequel. So um, I really liked this book. I gave it 4.5 out of 5 stars. I, um, like I could barely put it down. I loved it. So... This book is about Victor and Victor Vale and Eli Ever slash Cardale, and in college they are doing, uh, Eli is doing his final thesis on EOs or Extraordinaries, kind of like superheroes, and they find, they connect the creation of Extraordinaries to near-death experiences. So Victor and Eli start testing out these near-death experiences on themselves, and lo and behold they end up with powers, and now they hate each other, which is a little ridiculous. That's kind of why I didn't get a 5 out of 5 stars for me, because there was almost no build-up between we're best friends, college roommates, we love science, and we're going to do this experiment together, to I hate you and I want to kill you. Like, they established early on that there's some sort of, like, jealousy going on with Victor. Like, Eli, he feels like Eli took his girlfriend, not really girlfriend, but the girl he liked, and that he gets all the praise, and he's, like, super handsome, and so on. So there is that sort of jealousy there, but there's really no reason for them to hate each other as much as they do. But you know what? If you can get past that, this book is so much fun. I loved it. It's everything I wanted in the classic superhero, supervillain book. And I also really loved Mitch. He is my husband, in case you didn't know. He is now bookish crush number two or three? He's definitely giving Mr. Darcy a run for his money. Um, but yes, I love this book. I immediately bought the second book and I devoured, well, not devoured. There's going to be a lot coming up in my November wrap-up, but I did really like it and I like these. Read it. Finally, my disappointing reading month culminated in Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Moss. This book is, like, it's a reread. I listen to the audiobook, and if you know anything about me, you know I love Thorn of Glass. I loved this book. Dorian is bae. Adion hasn't shown up yet, but Dorian is bae. Kale is okay. Rowan can go away. <gasps> I'm gonna trademark that. Dorian is bae. Kale is okay. Rowan can go away. I like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something with that, because that basically explains all three of my opinions towards the men. Not even in terms of their relationship to Selena, just in general. Um, although Adian and Ash River is my heart and soul, so. Okay. So there was that tangent. Uh, but that was my wrap-up for October. I had big, big plans for this month, and none of them came to fruition. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully November will be better. I've already re finished two books, and I'm on my way to finishing a third. So, if I can get to four, that means I've beaten October. So yeah, that's enough of my rambling. Uh, let me know if you've read any of those books in the comments down below. What did you read in the month of October? Just, or just leave a comment to say hi. I'm all, I always like hearing from people. 
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!